The good old days have been cut for this particular video for various reasons. <laughs> Maybe I'm the one, maybe I'm the one who is a schizophrenic psycho, yeah. Maybe I'm the one, maybe I'm the one who is a schizophrenic psycho. Thank you so much for going down memory lane with me. Let me just say that this memory lane video right here is probably one of the most grotesque, uh, sickening stories that I may uh, tell down memory lane. Happened just like this. My cousin John Huffman uh, hung out with a uh, uh, with a girl that I believe he graduated with her or uh, knew her, uh, met her uh, somewhere or another. Her name was uh, Tracy Ash, uh, spelled uh, H, or excuse me, spelled uh, A S H E Ash, Tracy Ash. Uh, she had a uh, sister. Uh, I forget her uh, Tracy Tracy Ash. I forget her sister's name. Uh, my cousin Junior had a crush on her. Anyway, nonetheless, they had a, uh, a brother. Uh, his name was Bruce Ash. Bruce ran into some hard times. I uh, got kicked out of his apartment, lost his job or whatever. And uh, I had uh, gave Bruce a uh, uh, reference and told him to go to Daco's, you know. And uh, he went to Daco's and got a job at Daco's. He didn't last very long. He moved in with my cousin John there on uh, North Avenue, North East Lands. I said in previous vids, uh, John lived up in apartment two. And he moved in with John on apartment two. Uh, Bruce, Bruce was... Uh, I mean, Bruce was nasty, a very nasty person. Uh, he he smelled uh, uh, like an ash, uh, like an ashtray. We used to do the MWF, the Master Wrestling Federation stuff, all the days uh, there, and uh, I'd go around uh, using my uh, crazy Carl Kaninsky voice, uh, uh, and I would go around going, "Oh, Bruce Ashtray," you know, which uh, you know he basically he smelled like an ashtray. Well, my cousin John had a. Uh, had a penis enlarger, if you will, a penis pump, if you will, uh, and uh, John had kept it in the closet, uh, you know, he had kept it in the closet, of course he showed it to me and my cousin Sean a couple of times, and they were like, well, that's just, just fucking gross, anyway, nonetheless, John had gotten it out one night, and uh, or John had been cleaning out one night, and uh, of course this was uh, prior to uh, him and uh, Bruce had a falling out, Bruce ended up, uh, uh, had one head left, and I don't know where he went after that, but anyway, he got it out, and uh, he uh, got the penis pump out, and uh, uh, he was pack get ready to pack it because he, he was moving, uh, to, you know, get ready to go to in into the military back in that time. And uh, actually, Mr. Dewitt's uh, the uh, the owner of the uh, apartment uh, by their house, or you know, but there was in departments. I've explained that down there a couple of times. Uh, attic apartment, uh, apartments uh, two and three, there on the top. Uh, uh, they're in the middle of the house, and then on the bottom, of course, was apartment four. Anyway, nonetheless, he got out the penis pump, and uh, it had a uh, uh, green, uh, like green mold growing in it. And uh, come to find out, Bruce had used that uh, in more ways than one, and uh, ended up making it green. We're talking the sick and twisted story of Bruce Ash. Bruce didn't last the docos very long. Uh, when he got to the docos, uh, he, he was slow and slow as could be, and... Uh, Bruce got terminated, and like I said, him and John had a falling out, and he ended up leave. Uh, he, he ended up going uh, wherever he went. I don't know, but uh, he used John's uh, penis pump, uh, and uh, I think he uh, jerked off in it, or or, or whatever. He uh, enlarged it and jerked off in it, and whatnot. And uh, it was just absolutely grotesque, uh, very gross. And Bruce was a gross person too. Uh, his teeth were uh, so yellow, I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> anyway, nonetheless, I told you it was uh, grotesque and sick, and I hope I didn't make you sick your stomach. That's just the way it went down. That's the way it happened. The sick, twisted story of Bruce Ash. Thank you so much for going down memory lane with me. I'll catch you next time. <laughs> Schizophrenic psycho, yeah Maybe I'm the one